2019 Unity corner bed. are trying to start so I think it's a bad capacitor so first we take off all the screws there's two screws in the front for the cover That's right. I'm I, I, this down oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it helps to have somebody on the ground for this job. Right. Okay, so here we are. Well, we have the uh, 120 breaker chip, you know, open. Flipped. Yeah, it's off. Yeah, flipped off for the 120 side, and we have the coach battery switch off. So we've got all 12 volt and 120 power kill to this. And the first thing I want to do is I want to try to rotate the fan. Uh, this is the fan shaft. This is your fan in here. And it is, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it is spinning freely. So it isn't a problem with like the fan uh, being frozen up. Okay. You might want to come over. Yeah, I guess I don't really need these, but you can sure. kneel on them. Yeah, my bony little knees. <laughs> okay, so you might want to get over here because okay. we're going to be working right here. Okay. If I go ahead first off the uh, unit, okay. this will make a hell of a YouTube yeah. video. Yeah, don't do that. It's like skydiving, so. Okay, so first we've got to take off these behind this panel are is is uh, the, basically the control board, the capacitors, the wiring, everything for this Dometic air conditioner. So that's the first thing we want to do. Ah, uh, there is a schematic there too. Yeah, and there's a wiring diagram. This is usually where I use my uh, voltmeter to make sure that just because I turned it off, it really is off. Yeah, I mean, you've done this I so don't many really times. Worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, I treat everything like it's hot, so that's true. Yeah, I don't really worry about the voltage so much. Okay, so right here, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the dual, what's called a dual run capacitor. And this runs the fan and the compressor. And I actually have a replacement that I carry as a spare, but you can see it's a lot bigger. And if you back up a little bit, you can see this one is much bigger than the one that's in this place. But uh, I think it can work, because see we have this nice open area. so. Um, we're going to be just basically swapping, direct swapping uh, the wires from one, from the old capacitor to the new one. I have a stubby screw here. Yeah. 
so bright. You yeah, I know. See. Yeah. You would think having the bright sun would make it easier to work. It would, except that you can't see. The sun's just at the right angle for, to get in your eyes and not shed any light on the project. Right. Strap out of the way. Remove the strap. And now we have our compressor. Our, oh yeah, so this is a better shot. See how much bigger this is? Oh yeah. Uh, but it's the same kind. See the number right here, 5515? Yep. 5515. You want to replace it with the same exact... Capacitance. Right. And, and capacity or whatever you want to... Um, or it won't work. Okay, so I'm just going to go oh, in. There's three terminals. You can see that, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's HEM. HEM is for the compressor. Hermatically, it means hermatically sealed. And the compressor is the hermatically sealed unit. Then fan. So this terminal runs your fan motor. And then C is common. So that's like, you know, neutral or ground say in in electrical circuit okay so then we want to look on top here and i can see herm right there so i know starting with my connections i need to put these on this herm terminal okay all right so we will use a uh Those plier. We'll take each one of these off and make sure we put them in the same spot. Oh, wait. It was on this one. Okay. have to make sure you get them in the connector correctly. Is the advantage for a manufacturer to build one bigger? Cooling or just uh, no, I maybe? Don't know. I have no idea. Huh. Other than that's just what the manufacturer did. Now then I'm just going across because uh, 
there there's built up energy in here mm -hmm. so you just try to short it so if you were to touch it you know you wouldn't hurt yourself with it okay so now this is the moment of truth <laughs> so Anna? turn the breaker back on and the coach switch back on and let's see if the air conditioner works that's, yeah, that's right the there, one for the yeah. coach battery. Yeah. Turn it to the one, 90 degrees to the right from off to on. And then flip the breaker on after that. Right. Sandy Johnson. <laughs> All right. I figured that's where I was 99% sure. Yeah, I didn't realize it was a convert. Everything's off? Okay, good. All right, so now we have to see about fitting this thing back in place. There's a little black capacitor right here. That's the start capacitor. See that little black one down there? Oh, okay. That's the start capacitor. And if you ever were to put in like an, a soft start, you know, so you could run the air conditioner off a 20-amp 20, 20 outlet or off a 3,000-watt inverter, you basically you disconnect and remove that. You don't use that little start capacitor. But in this okay. case, so I had to move it forward so I can fit this back. Okay. Um, but I just want to point that out, yeah. and I'm not, so, so now, okay, so now, oh, yes, uh, it's, uh, see how much bigger it is, so yeah. now I can't even, so uh, because I can't it's a larger even, diameter, yeah, I, just, I can't even stretch around. that to it. Uh, if I had, if I had a, pass it out and put it on the outside and attach uh, it in some of the back. Yeah, yeah, I could zip tie it. Yeah. Gouging into the casing of the. Yeah. Okay, got it. Capacitor to the um, to the strapping, so it all back in nice and neat. Now I just have to put this cover on. Find the screws. So I 
advise people to get get the spare capacitor and carry it with you so if your air conditioner stops working I'm not sure there's any advantage to that, but... Oh yeah, they're all the same. I was thinking they were different. Yeah, it's just a little bit big. Excellent. All right.